people everywhere in the whole world is watching. Africans do that so much. If Africa... Blessings, blessings to you guys. God bless you wherever you're watching this video. God love you. God strengthen you. I want to uh, put this video out here because a lot of things that is going on in the body of Christ and ministers life, you know, is sometimes you question a lot of things. But uh, I saw the video of uh, Marcos and uh, uh, Jonathan. I saw that video. And uh, to God be the glory, God always confirm his word. All right. So before I go into that, we have been... Uh, sharing a lot of uh, prophecies or, or message concerning uh, Marcos Rogers. And uh, uh, sincerely speaking, Marcos is a true man of God. 100% true man of God. No doubt about that. So, because uh, so I think uh, maybe a couple of months ago, I had a dream about Marcos, which I'd never shared uh, uh, with uh, anybody outside our family or close friends. So, in that dream, God was showing me uh, how he's mixing with wrong people. And uh, we, you know, we, we was praying for him. We continue in prayers with him at the same time, you know. Then, this video showed up. All right. So, this whole thing, God was letting me to know that this is a this is a scam this is a scam i was like wow wow and uh, that makes me begin to be like why why this you know like god is speaking to people all the time prophet prophetess all the time yes that's true but there is ones that you know that there is a game played or there's a scam going on. And this whole thing was a big scam in the body of Christ, says the Lord. All right. So if this will definitely remind you that is watching or have seen that video, T.D. Jakes and uh, Tara Perry, when Tara Perry was praying for T.D. Jakes, right? This is exactly but. The different, the different on this is, Marcos is a true man of God, right? If you begin to look into all these false ministers, false prophets, uh, Benny Hinn, whenever they go to their members or their followers or their friends, scammers like them, they introduce themselves or prof begin to prophesy out of nowhere so that the whole world will hear it. When you see things like that, that's a big red flag. You know why it's a, a big red flag? They've already been on the phone communicating, right? They're already in contact. Why they never prophesy over the phone or, or uh, you know, like, why is it going to be on a live streaming people everywhere, the whole world is watching? Africans do that so much. If African pastor, a preacher, uh, invites you, the prophecy will be only on the person that they invite. It's so annoying. You That will let you know this is a big scam. And a lot of people will be falling for this. And God has already confirmed who Jonathan is to this ministry. And it's so obvious. And I, I hope that... Uh, People will not be misled by this. I just pray that people will not be misled. This is very wrong. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. It's not of God. I just don't know. I just don't know why people... It's like, uh, Marcos, you allowed uh, yourself to fall this victim. You know, Marcos is a great minister, like I said. Demons has, uh, witchcraft has even confirmed, confirmed uh, who Marcos is. You know, like he's a man of God. You know, 
that this is the thing that makes you to know exactly who are the ministers of God. But colliding with something like this, my God, it's not right. And Jonathan, with the prophecies and all that, he knows the truth. He knows what he's playing. He knows everything. So I just want to give this video out here. Marcos, we're praying for you. Uh, Jonathan, you need to repent and give your life to God. All right. We love you guys. You'll keep them up in prayers. Let God's will be done. Mm -hmm.